Next, we meet Jehovah Ruth City volunteer Jiang Taishun, who used to be a highly paid consultant, but after surgery in 2012, decided to quit his job to open a vegetarian restaurant. As tiring as it may be running a restaurant, Jiang remains determined to be an advocate of vegetarianism. <laughs> In 2010, Johor Bahru volunteers put on the musical adaptation of the Sutra of Innumerable Meanings. One of the onstage volunteers was Jiang Taishun. At that time, he wore a gray uniform as he was participating in Sichuan training. In 2012, Jiang returned to Taiwan for his certification ceremony. However, he fell ill and had to go to the hospital for surgery. The care he received from fellow Tsuji volunteers moved him to make a vow. I made a vow that I would like everyone to adopt a vegetarian diet. At the end of that year, Jiang quit his high-paying job as a consultant and started his own vegetarian restaurant. Every day he works in a hot kitchen for up to 10 to 12 hours. But his resolution has never wavered. I often see customers who are normally meat-eaters walk in to dine at the restaurant, and that comforts me and makes me happy. In an effort to spread his conservation ideals, Jiang not only encourages his patrons to bring their own utensils, but also display Jinsu publications inside his restaurant. Although business is now running smoothly, it wasn't always this way. Jiang's business partner, Zhong Meiling, also new at being a restaurant owner, had trouble at first finding the right sort of staff. Those staff that left could not accept adopting a meatless diet while working here, so they chose to look for a job elsewhere. Calling on fellow volunteers to hop out in the kitchen, it seemed the restaurant had gotten through over a hurdle. But what about hiring a chef? Thankfully, Zhang's own mother traveled from Penang to teach her son how to navigate the kitchen. I persisted in teaching him how to cook until he got everything down pat. For his determination and effort, Jiang was well respected by fellow volunteers. From not knowing how to cook to becoming a whiz in the kitchen is no easy task. Most of the time, it does not feel like you're not eating meat, as the dish's main ingredients are vegetables. It is 11 at night when the restaurant finally closes, and although Jiang is physically tired, his spirit is refreshed. He has further plans to expand into the delivery service so that more community members will be able to enjoy eating vegetarian meals.